Hi, this is Shane Morton with IndieExpress.com, and I am here with Todd Kubrak, Daniel Carlyle, and Emily Peck of the feature film Four Faced Liar. Thanks for joining us today here on Indie Express. Hello. Having us. So the film has been playing around a lot and catching a lot of buzz, actually. Uh, the film started as a stage play that all three of you, plus the writer Marja, uh, was all involved with. Can you tell me a little bit about the, 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 the differences between the stage play and the film and kind of about the, the idea of moving it into film format and the kind of process that you guys took along? They're all actors and producers of the film. So um, let's start with you, Emily. Sure. Um, well, we started, uh, we moved out here from NYU. We all went to NYU, what, sorry, NYU together. Um, and we moved out here and Marja was a writer and she'd written this originally with just the two female leads as a short uh, for an NYU directing class. And we like continued upon it, uh, adding the two male characters and, and fleshing it out and turned it into a stage piece with just the four actors uh, and produced it ourselves. And after we showed it to a bunch of family and friends uh, and one of our producers who's downstairs, Samantha Houseman, she... Uh, encouraged us to make it a film and, you know, add more locations and add more characters and kind of just like flush it out a little bit more. And so we went back to the drawing board and, and that is how the film in short form got created. So the four of you all went to college together. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Tell us a little bit about, well, that's great. I mean, you don't, you don't see that as often as you think you would, you know, like tell us a little bit about that process of, knowing each other so well and then creating it's it's more of a theater type of thing instead of a film thing that you see so it's great that you guys kind of are bringing that into a film conglomerate here that's great yeah. tell us a little bit daniel about that process um well, well no one died in the process which is really great people came close i think but <laughs> nobody nobody actually died in terms of all of us knowing each other i mean we were all really really close in college and and moving out to los angeles just brought us all the more closer um and i think uh, the process of creating this play together was like, it was just sort of like a natural step. It was sort of like, we need something to do here in LA, so we're going to do what we came here to do, which is uh, act and create. And luckily we did something that people were interested in and wanted to see it go further. Um, and, you know, that's what we did. Are you guys still pursuing the, the theater route at all as a group? Yes, yeah. yeah, I mean, our production company is 6140 Productions. We actually have a, a play that's being produced at Theater of Note in Hollywood this summer. Um, since, you know, whilst we were working on the film, there was also another play that was produced there. Um, and then right now, Marja, who is, is in the process of writing a couple more features that we're, uh, we're reading and, and revising and hopefully going to start uh, filming by January 2011. That's that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, Todd, about the idea of um, moving from play into film and any kind of hiccups that you guys might have found along the way or, or changes that you really kind of veered way off the path that you didn't expect it to? Well, I think the first major change between the play and the film is that my character in the film, Trip, actually gets a girlfriend. In the play, my character had a girlfriend, but it was only the four actors, and we never saw this girl. And then for the film, we added in this fifth major character to the film. She plays, like, you know, pretty much a pivotal role at the end of the day. Um, Liz Osborne, she plays my girlfriend, Chloe, in the film. Um, and then, you know, we just had, like, endless opportunities. When we did the play, we were on one, you know, one set. It never moved, and then we... You know, we went into production, we hired Jacob, and we hired Danny Gruens as our cinematographer. Sam came on as our producer, and, you know, we had the world at our feet at that point. And we went to New York, we location scouted it, we could open up the script um, that was confined at the time as a play to two different bedrooms, and we brought it to rooftops and then the subway. We had a bar, we had walk and talks. Um, and that was pretty much the beginning. You know, once we started, like, just opening our doors on what we could do as a, as a film. Uh, it was just like the beginning. We, we, we shot half the film in New York City, then we shot the other half in Los Angeles, actually, and we built all of our sets. So we built these, like, beautiful, pretty large New York City apartments, which, uh, you know, on the film and the camera, it doesn't look as big, but they were pretty big when we were on the studio spaces, and, uh, you know, that was just, like, a major difference between the play and just, like, just the worlds that we were able to create uh, for the film. Um, it opened up the script, it opened up our characters, it opened up just like, you know, it opened up everything, it was great. 
So what is next for the three of you? Yeah. Are you, uh, I mean, you're going to continue working together as a group, but what's next for each of you individually that you're focusing on now? Well, I think like we all moved out here to work in film and work in TV and because we lived in New York and we all had theater careers there. Um, and I think what we're, I mean, if I can speak for all of us momentarily, I think that we're all hoping to continue to produce together and work together in that creative environment, but also uh, branch out and and work on film and TV projects like not related with the production company as well and try and find a, a mix of the two. Totally. Very nice. Well, congratulations. That's such a wonderful thing that you guys can have that built-in friendship move together create together and it be successful that's something that you don't see very often in LA and so it's really refreshing and nice that you guys experienced it and perhaps you can too out there watching indieexpress.com um, so thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And the film is Four Face Liars. It's playing at a film festival near you. It's been playing at a lot of film festivals. And I believe it does have um, some form of uh, idea in terms of, a, of release, right? Yes, we do. Uh, we have some uh, international prospects and uh, cable and dis DVD distribution deals in the works. And you will hear more about those soon. And if people want it to follow the film, is there a website or a Facebook page or something they can go to? Uh, you can follow it on Facebook. Also, follow 6140 Productions on Twitter. And uh, the movie on the fourfaceliarmovie.com. Great. Thank you guys very much. Uh, everyone always has Twitter, Facebook, and website now. It's the way to do it. This has been Shane Morton with IndieExpress.com. Keep watching.